creeping hello to everyone watching this. I'm Allie B. Mac, aka a grumpy elder ranting about the good old days. I just feel like I was born in the wrong decade. Back in the good old days when the men were men and the women were women and if the women didn't like being a housewife, we could just lobotomize them. Oh God, don't get me started on civil rights. What about my right to deny black people their rights? Hmm. You know what? Maybe I just like the aesthetic. Moving on, you are watching the second part of my playthrough of The Walking Dead, the final season, episode two, Suffer the Children. Without further ado, let's get right into the game. I'm headed to the bell tower. I want to check no, the No, don't make me choose the between the two of you. Bed. Do you need help? Sure, if you want. No, you could always help me no. instead. This game I am on piano duty. What? I gotta get in some practice before one of you decides to chop it into firewood. No, 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 I've got a project no, no, I want to try. No, 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 but I need a second person. No. Shit game. Son of a bitch! No! It just I just did something with her, so now I'm trying something with Lewis. Please don't, please don't, please. We're in the apocalypse. Can't we just date both of them? Or we never have to decide and we forever live in this weird little love triangle and nothing ever. And, you know, then it's constant angst 24 seven, which is fun. Oh, my heart. Oof. Fuck, Teenage Me would have been such a goddamn sucker. You suck at playing, excellent. I was just reading the thing, I wasn't saying that. Thought I could tickle the ivories one last time before all hell breaks loose. That's a good idea. Haven't heard music <sighs> in a while. Many people would say you're not about to hear it now. So. How do you feel about our imminent deaths? We won't necessarily die, of course. We could also be kidnapped, injured, maimed, maybe eaten. The possibilities are endless. I actually feel pretty good about it. The fight, not our deaths, because we're not gonna die. He doesn't. You're so sure. You have to be, right? So, what's this project you needed me for? Sounds awful, right? All we need to do is tune it. That's why I need you. Smarmy bastard. When I get the signal, play the A key. Uh, yeah, which one's the A key? You know, the A key. Next to the B key. After the G key. He's being a douche on purpose. Good. That definitely helped. Now press the pedals while I make some more adjustments. Great. That uh, part's cool. I want to play and see what. Quick, now blow on the strings. What? I know. Sounds weird, but blow on them. Cooling the temperature helps set them in harmony. Okay, great. That did nothing, because that's not at all part of how you tune a piano. <laughs> but it was funny. It could have done something, on like a molecular level. Or maybe it's good luck to blow on strings. <laughs> you are super cute. Cute? Wow, uh, <laughs> that's, uh, yay! <laughs> Glad to be of service. I'm gonna die. What are you playing? And don't say a piano. A song that I wrote. Really? What's it called? I don't know yet. There. First time played. You should mark the occasion. Oh 
Oh, my heart hurts. You done tattooing that piano? I think you've got a future in Whitlin. I like saying Whitlin. Whitlin. Okay, I'll stop. I can't. I can't. Whitlin. Uh... Okay, I'm gonna go ahead and take my knife back. You're charming. And also sometimes scary. So, hey, I'm gonna dig myself into a deep hole from which I'll never emerge. Cool? Cool. Ha. Huh. Time to get serious. Serious? Wow. Are you feeling okay? Not really, nope. Mm -mm. Thanks for being here. Listening. Blowing on the strings. Coming here to help me with my project, even after everything I put you through. And everything I had to work through for myself. Everyone hears the jokes, the piano, and after that, they stop listening. You didn't. So, um, I like no! you a lot. Like, my baby girl, my baby like girl, you. my child, my As daughter. More than a friend. Uh... <laughs> no jokes? Nothing? He doesn't feel the same way because I didn't choose When you said you had feelings for someone during the game, I was <gasps> hoping it was me. And it is. Holy shit, it's me! Figured out what to call the song. Clementine, obviously. You know, because I like fruit. And I like you even more, so there gotta admit of all the things i saw coming you having a crush on me was not it you stabbing me in my sleep yes declaration of crush no <laughs> i'm gonna cry my baby girl i'm so proud look at her you out here oh i have to go fast. Got look out duty well you wouldn't want to miss that Sounds like way too much fun. Oh, my heart hurts so much. But Violet! I also love Violet. Shit. Son of a bitch. I'm definitely... Well... The Raiders. Let me know if you guys want to see me play through Violet, because I know I'm going to do it anyway, but if you guys just want a Able. short special of yeah. that, I will. Your bad dreams. <sighs> They're all about him, aren't they? Yeah. Can I swear yet? No. I think it's time I can. If you do. No. Come on, kiddo, quit asking. Because I would swear about his stupid face. I don't know why I don't want him to swear. About something else. Count the monsters you see. Same number as before. Three, four. Oh, he's not good at counting. Agent, That's why he was it's upset. It's okay if Abel frightens you. You know how to control that. There's ten monsters out there. He doesn't frighten me. But when he comes here, I call dibs. I'm the one that kills him. Okay? Hey, Jay, I don't like the way you're talking. Killing is never easy or fun or to be treated so casually. Maybe it is. I don't know. Is it because I'm trying to be good because of Marlon? It's just because you should never think about killing like that. I just... I don't want to teach him at such a young age. Like, when he's older and he definitely knows... There's 12 of them now. Like, I don't want it to take an emotional toll on him well, every time you have to kill someone. Scissors. But it's just he's a baby. If I win, you change your mind, and I get dibs on Abel. I can take him, Clem. Please. I'm not being casual. Hmm. Yeah, okay. I don't want to really? actually lose. Best two out of three, sucker. And no take backs. No take backs. Sucker. Get ready. So cute. They're One. Super cute. Two. 
Paper. Tied. Tied. Go again. Again. One. Two. Uh. Scissors. Yes. Okay. Gotcha. For again. all the beat. Well, no. One. Technically, if it's a two. Well. Two. Paper. Wow. Tied. Go again. Again. One. Two. Paper. Yes! Crap. <laughs> Paper beats rock. I win. Best so no more about dibs, four. okay? Okay. Probably not a good way to teach a child Clem, about I important see something. moral not lessons. But we won, so that's Here, what counts. you look too. <sighs> ah, shit. They're coming! Is there something I can interact with? They're coming! There's a fucking ho- Am I supposed to be- That's not a walker. Yeah! I know! Good job, AJ. Come on, we have to tell the others. Kind of like raiders yeah they're here shit well in case it all goes to hell and i don't see you again during the fight just know i have no idea what that d stands for on your hat don't tell me i prefer it to remain a mystery but i'm gonna pretend like it stands for don't die so just um listen to your hat okay mm -hmm. thank you so much babe great we're ready Violet. We've got at least four more people all carrying guns and carts, probably to carry people away. Oh no. Assholes. I can't believe they're really here. If they get inside, I'll keep them focused on me. That should give Willie and Mitch time to set up the bomb. I'll set it under those carts. It'll work. I promise. I if they manage you. to get in, we fall back. To the admin building. Exactly. Right into our traps. They're in for a rude fucking surprise. Those duffel bags will break bones. Easy. So, uh, any final words of wisdom? You've faced them in one, after all. Well, sort of. Lewis, shut it. No matter what happens, Fuck! Shit! Shit! Hide! Now! Omar! I got him! AJ, hide! Go! Move! <laughs> It'll be fine, we just need it. His wound doesn't look like it's gushing, but I can't tell. Oh, Jesus Christ. Could you be any more stereotypical villain there, Lily Clementine? My bow! Go! Go. I'll be alright. Yeah, it's not gushing. But get a tourniquet on it anyway. Maybe. Go! The bleeding will be controlled with pressure, actually. You probably need a tourniquet. Alright. Go, 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 go! You brought the one arm guy, huh? Him? Him. Him. Okay, well. Glad okay. you know how to prepare Just for a scene. Trying to move or make noise. Lily looks pretty Look goddamn badass, though. This. Focus. They're just scarecrows. Created by psychopath children. Spread out. We need to kill the ones who are brave first. Those are the ones who we need to get gone. Because if we do that, then maybe we can shake the coward's faith and get them to get gone. Up, 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 up. I'm pressing the goddamn up button. Shoot. You won't get the chance. We should probably get that person first, huh? Where's our have... new recruit? They're not yours. You can't just take people. God Search damn the it. yard. Okay, well. Sure. 
If Clementine moves, shoot her. Okay. So no moves. So no moves. We'll find them, Clementine. And then we'll take them. And you. And your little boy. I don't think you want to kill me. Just like you didn't want to in the woods. She can't fucking Shut do up. it. You can't fucking do it. Can you? Clem. My, my baby. You've changed. I grew up. I can see that. God, you are just like him. We would have been heartbroken knowing he taught you all the wrong things. Excuse you? That the you? little girl he protected turned out like this. He you taught right, me to survive, you like fucking him. piece of shit. And if he saw me now, he'd be proud of who I am. Why? That's goddamn because right. Because you pick fights you can't win? No, because I protect people. Right. I'm sure that made all his sacrifices worth it. Okay, now I'm kind of wishing I said, like, don't you dare say his fucking name. You're not worthy. Get out. If you won't help you me child find the trafficker. others, I'll find someone who will. We recruited from this school before. Minnie wanted to come along tonight to tell you how well she's adjusted to her you life. You didn't bring her because how you know she, she wouldn't is. help. She might she turn on you. She said she had a girlfriend back here. Friends she missed. One guy who could always make her laugh no matter what. And her little brother. She missed him the most. They didn't bring Minnie because Minnie wasn't on their side. No, ten! Shit! Shit! Where are they? Let me take you to them. Oh my god, she sounds like I a can't. villain. I just want them back. Please. You'll be happier where they Jesus are. Jesus Christ. Don't listen to her. Come, you child, to my van she with candy. Your sisters. She took them away from you. But from with this, it's home. a carriage with your sisters. Oh, shit. No, 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 no. Not ten. Come on. <laughs> Holy shit, dude. Oh my god. Ah oh, shit, the sniper. Hopefully there's enough smoke. Oh god. I don't really want to shoot Lily. Like, not that I I wouldn't kill her if it was me or her, but she's the only one who seems to have any- <gasps> God damn it! Mitch! Mitch! No! Oh my god! Oh my god! Kill who you have to! Take the rest! Oh my god! Now, Lily! Go Did you see her face though? She didn't. I mean, I don't know. Do you think taking that oh, shot at yeah. her will make her mad at me? Because she couldn't do it earlier, but now that we've threatened her life, do you think she'll do it? The reason I didn't want to is not because I, as much as I think she's a very cool character and I'm, I like the character dynamic, I didn't want to kill her because she is the only one kind of holding them back and she's the only one of those people who knows Clem and doesn't want her dead necessarily. We should wait till it's not the injured guy. We should try to get the person in the back or... Well! Shit, that worked real well! Oh, we only have one? That's a bit disappointing. That's what I was saying is that we need to kill the brave ones first. Psychological warfare. Oh, shit. This reminds me of the Detroit Become Human uh, fight scene. In the, in the mansion. It feels like, maybe just because it's like kind of an old, decrepit-esque house, maybe do some quick, uh, quick time of this. <laughs> Great, don't open the door all the way, close it and barricade it. Barricade it! Oh, Jesus. Oh, AJ's gonna, he's been getting fucked around. Great, 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 great. Sure. Good fucking luck. Ha <laughs> Good fucking luck, dude. I can't. Stay back. Ah, 
shit. Come on. Oh, Jesus. Anywhere I see someone like you, weak, small, afraid, and still alive, well, bet a lot of folks die to get you here. Okay. Hey, buddy. Uh, I have one arm and you've got, or you've got one arm, I've got two. I think one of us is doing a little bit better than the other. So maybe shut your fucking mouth. Cool, cool. Christ, dude. Ah! Up! I clicked up. Fuck you! I clicked up. All right. Well, that's not the button I pressed. It's fine. It's fine. Or is it? Ah! Oh God. Oh god! Oh my eyes! My eyes! And they're gone again. Up, 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 up. Uh, and now up, which I definitely did press because I was holding W because that's the up button. Maybe I didn't press it fast enough? It feels like I did. Oh Jesus Christ. We're fine. If I've learned anything about video game and movie physics is if you land on a body, you're okay. <laughs> Lose your other arm, bud? Oh, shit. God damn it. That's Lily's sad face. Shit. This should be easy. Can't You can't do it. You won't kill me. I know you won't. Why? We were like family once. He won't hurt family. Oh god, look at Clem's goo- like, baby doll eyes. <gasps> Violet, I love you so much! Oh shit. We gotta get her, come on, we gotta- Fuck you! I gotta go save my- Well, I guess she's not my girlfriend. I feel like saying girlfriend. Oh! <gasps> Rosie! Yes! Fuck up! Tear off his other- Oh, babe. Oh, I don't like that. Ah, shit. She's got a gun. She's got a gun. Ah, shit. Motherfucker. Um... I think, yeah, I think Lewis is about to be, cause, ah, oh, shit. Like, they were very clearly taking Violet to go. And I think that they, I'm not, it feels like the, they were gonna kill. It feels like they were gonna, I'm not sure if that's accurate or not, but it really, really feels like they were gonna kill, um, Lewis and that they were just taking Violet and I know that we're not letting it end here because there's no fucking way <laughs> that's some intense oh Jesus Christ we're gonna get them back this is not this is not over oh shit moving targets great knew that we were gonna need this skill nope stop moving there we go hey bud Got him. I'm shooting when it's not red because I'm trying to lead them just a little bit. Ah, shit. Because then if I don't lead them, that's what fucking happens. There we go. Jiminy Crick. Oh, God! I thought I messed up. Oh, Jesus. We really... There's no, uh... No plan for if they try to burn the shit down, huh? Ah, shit. I was hoping my zombie boyfriend... Would and by zombie boyfriend, you guys know who I mean. That guy. I was hoping he was he was gonna be the one who sent the zombies. Maybe he could help me out a little bit. I feel like we gotta. He can help us. They wouldn't just introduce him for no reason. 
Other than to like be cool and make me really want a zombie face mask. Oh my god, am I turning into Elizabeth Bathory? Anyway. Not great. Not wonderful, I'd say. Could be better. Could be worse! Could also be better. Um, shit. I kind of wish I had saved... Like, if if Lewis wasn't gonna die, I kind of wish I had saved Violet just because she, she would be better at helping me plan and get him out, I feel like. But, also, I feel like... I don't know. Shit, it's a lot. Poor Ten. Rosie, my favorite, who needs to survive the season so Come. much. I, I'm sorry for trusting her. We just wanted your sisters, buddy. <laughs> well, I God. wanted Mitch dead, but like not, Omar, don't make me sad about it gone and Violet I never thought someone would get her shit we're going after them yeah how we still don't know where they are or how many uh our whisper friend has been watching them for ages well we've got someone who does yes let's go find him our zombie boyfriend well not boyfriend friend I am already dating Lewis I guess I don't know if we're exclusive we haven't had that talk Oh shit! Oh! That is not the route I was expecting them to go! Huh. I want to make it clear, actual, in real life, torture doesn't work. We see it portrayed very often in movies and television shows, and we think that torture would be an effective way to... I love this song. This is the song that they used in season two. Um, possibly the first episode of season two. Holy shit. I love this song. It's so good to hear it again. I mean, no, like I cannot stress how, oh, okay. I've got like 10 different thoughts. Let me finish my torture thought, then I'll get onto the song. Uh, so, but when, when they actually did like studies to see, oh, it, has all our torture of people been effective? No, it's not effective. It doesn't work. Um, but just because we see it popularized and we see it all the time, we think that it does. Or like, you know, The Last of Us, when Joel tortures that guy, you're kind of like, oh, that's gross, but also, yay! It doesn't work like that. It doesn't. So I don't, I feel like this game is going to treat it like every other instance of torture we've seen where it does work, so we'll see. Um, but what I was saying about the song is, in one of my old art journals, I'm not, <sighs> is this the right one? Hold on. Yeah. Um, at least I hope it is. I was so, like this song stuck with me and so did I mean obviously Clementine's story sticks with you right it's I don't know I couldn't get it out of my head so shit is it in this one ah, maybe it's in another one hold on here it is here it is yes okay so it's um picture I mean it's not very good obviously I did it with crayons but um choop choop you can't really see it it's Clem season two with the lyrics for the song around her. I just, I, it's stuck. I love it. Anywho, oops, uh-oh, latest choices. Uh, you left Lewis feeling guilt-ridden. Lewis was compassionate toward you after you said you missed him. I did, I did say that a little bit manipulatively. Cause I'm gonna be honest, I don't miss people after not seeing them for a day, but yeah. Lewis was astonished when you confessed you had feelings for him. God, that scene was so cute. It was so cool. And he reacted like exactly as I would have, like when, oh God, what was it? For? Like, she was like, oh, you're the cutest. And he was like, ah, ha, ha, happy to be of service, man. Like that's the kind of dumbass shit I say. So I, God, cause I can't hit, I just, it was great. It was wonderful. It was wonderful. You left Lily feeling unconvinced. Lily was gratified that you remembered her and she was pleased when you accepted her help stand. I really enjoy the Lily Clem dynamic because I don't think an adult would have been able to get through to Lily the same, like an adult that she'd known from before would have been able to get through to Lily the same way. Like if Lee was still alive, regardless of whether or not she tried to let him go, I don't, it's Clem. And I'm glad that this game is also not besides just 
I mean, she's a kid, and even though she's a teenager and she's capable and all those things, but she uses those puppy dog eyes to her goddamn advantage. It was wonderful. Oh, oh I'm so excited to see how this continues because it's going to fucking continue, and I refuse to accept any other answer. Uh, Abel captured. Abel was aggravated when you warned Violet and Lewis to run in the forest. Abel was impressed when you taunted Lily with shooting you. I did not know that. I'm glad you're impressed, dude. Wasn't... Okay, well, I just thought that's how I'd survive. Uh, you left AJ feeling repentant. AJ was soothed after sleeping in your bed, and he was resigned uh, after you didn't give him dibs on killing Abel. The sleeping... That whole thing where he slept in our bed was very cute. I mean, you forget how young he is, right? And then that's the same thing where with the dibs. Because it's frustrating, but right now, he's a little kid. He's so impressionable, and... If it was someone Clem's age, like if it was another teenager, I would, I think I would be more okay with being like, yeah, go ahead, dibs, but AJ needs to understand where, she needs to understand morality better before he can disregard it, if that makes sense. Um, because when you get to a certain point, as in, like you understand right from wrong and you can, you can make those decisions for yourself, but right now he doesn't even really know what right and wrong is. So if he, I don't want him to get into his head thinking like, oh, I get to have vendettas and re like a revenge. That's not, in it's not good for you. It's not healthy. And when he gets older, he can choose to do those kinds of things. But right now we have to teach him the difference. Um, yeah, so Mitch is dead. Oops. Mitch was exasperated when you told him to watch his mouth at the funeral. Well, Mitch was irritated when you decided to help Ruby bury the walker. Yeah, well, fuck you, Mitch. Except for, I feel bad saying that now because he died and it was like really sad and people were crying over him. I also feel bad because this whole time I was like, die, Mitch, I'ma kill you. Turns out I didn't have to even do it. So thanks, Lily, I guess. I do. Like, it happened, and now I feel bad about it, which is a bummer. I don't like feeling bad for a character I actively rooted for to die. So. Uh, I love James! James is my favorite, maybe. He's the only- I mean, like, he does have the weird thing with the walkers in that he doesn't want us to kill them. But, again, he does- he values human life over a walker's life, which I respect. So, like, even though he has- to me, it seems like a little bit of a weird thing with the walkers. Um, I respect it. I respect his decision. And I understand where he's coming from. Also, his skin is just the best. Also, also, uh, that's the only way people should survive. We should all have zombie suits ready to go. Anytime we go hunting, we should be wearing a zombie suit. Anytime we do anything, we should always be wearing zombie suits. Stop not doing that stop not doing that this is what i've been advocating and i guess maybe i would have been a part of the whisperers but they're like the worst so james and i probably would have been buddies we could have left together anywho you left james feeling trusted james felt helpful when you let him feed age of the apple i trusted him completely so he should feel trusted because he saved our life our lives plural and let something he cared about die in order to save us james was attentive when you said you're originally from georgia that's a weird thing to know uh, you left Ten feeling despondent. Yikes. Uh, Ten was thoughtful when you said people needed to make new rules. Ten felt hopeful after sharing his belief that the walker age will end someday. I mean, it just makes sense. The walkers can't keep going forever. They're gonna run out of food. Or they're just gonna run out. They really, scientifically speaking, there's, oh, it wouldn't work. But, zombie apocalypse makes no sense. But, but, why? this come from hmm. but no no no, no buts the zombie apocalypse isn't, isn't scientifically possible but you have to accept it in order to play a game about a zombie apocalypse yes a suspension of disbelief you left ruby feeling grateful ruby was furious when you blamed marlon for everything well hmm hmm let me think about it for a second there which one of us and let me just i'm just gonna ask you this which one of us fucking murdered a person in cold blood to protect our deepest, darkest secrets. And which one of us sold two children into slavery, possibly, basically. T sold two children to become child soldiers. Which one of us did that? Then tried to murder me actively. I'm still angry about this. People are forgetting. It's 
It's a real shit situation. Ruby was consoled when you expressed her sympathy over finding the school nurse. Yeah, that was, that was sad. But Ruby is like, I don't know. I like that even though she was mad at us about the whole Marlin thing, she, without a second thought, was like, all right, I've got medicine upstairs. Let's get AJ going when he was shot. So I really appreciate her for that. Oh, my baby girl. Oh. <laughs> you allowed Violet to be kidnapped. Violet was relieved when you and AJ returned to the school. She was disappointed you chose to spend time with Lewis instead of her. She felt abandoned when you let the readers kidnap her. I am not letting you. I'm not leaving you. I love you so much. Oh, I still don't know how I feel about choosing Lewis over her. I don't know. I love her so much. I feel like not not for saving as for either dating or friendship or whatever would have happened. It's just let me know if you guys I'm going to have a second save where I do romance her of her playthrough. So let me know if you guys just want to see a reaction video for that, because I'm going to be doing it, doing it anyway. And if you just want to watch like a 10 minute clip of me geeking out over their cute scenes, let me know because I'll make it for you. Uh, as for the letting her get kidnapped, I really, really thought that uh, it looked like it looked like Lewis was in more immediate danger of death because Violet was already disarmed. She was like already on the ground being dragged to the cart, which was scary and horrible. And she's seeing her struggle like that made me feel a little bit sick to my stomach. So that wasn't great. But um, but Lewis was literally struggling with someone over a gun, which made me very nervous. So I was afraid that he would be shot. And I knew that I know that we're not just going to let them take the kids. Like, obviously, we have to go after them. It's just a lot. It's just, I just love her so much. I just love her so much. But I do think I also think that she's like, while it would be cool to have her help me plan because she's a really good fighter. I think that she when shit hits the fan she's not a half bad leader like she is willing to step up when no one else is even though i think clem's a better leader so now the school kids have clem and now the kidnapped children will have violet and i think that violet will be able to like help build a resistance inside maybe you know i don't know it'd be cool feel bad about it state of the school omar was kidnapped rosie was loyal to you after you pet her in the courtyard i love rosie so much telltale uh, I was gonna say don't kill her, but who fucking knows what's happening with Telltale, but Telltale if you Not Telltale any company that continues the Walking Dead if you kill Rosie, I will Be very disappointed. I was gonna threaten you, but I, I Don't have anything to threaten you with Willie was annoyed didn't choose his trap to defend against the Raiders Did anyone choose that trap? Can you let me know how it went? I was thinking with the bricks we could we would have had more a seam was kidnapped Yep, 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 not great not great. On the plus side, with Omar, hopefully they have better doctors to help treat his leg. A seam, not great. Not wonderful. Collected three out of three items during the episode. Didn't save all the kids, but I got all the items. So yeah. And that is the end of the episode. Don't forget to comment below with your thoughts and opinions and what decisions you would have made. I genuinely believe that Lee would be proud of Clementine. Clementine is a protector, just like Lee was. Protecting someone who is smaller than her, is weaker than her, but still worth saving. And I don't know, I just... I'm so proud of her too. The relationship between Clementine and Lily is gonna be fascinating to watch play out because, I mean, Clementine has the right of it. Lily considers her family and we know what Lily does for family, which is fucking anything. She knew her dad was an asshole, but still defended him. And I mean, even, even you know, Larry for all of his shitty, awfulness was protective of Clementine in his own way and I think that I think that Lily picked that up from him as well. As always this is your reminder to comment below with your ideas for aka intros and I might use yours yes yours in a future video. Thank you to the beautiful Mr. Aglar who submitted the idea I used for this one. Back in my day, we couldn't have subscribed to channels or liked videos. We also couldn't have checked a description below for social media links. I mean, these words are a bunch of gobbledygook. Anyways, thank you guys so much for watching this video. I will have the next video or live stream out very soon, so I will see you then.